Man, Real Life Street Stars, man. This is oh, this a yeah, no introduction need, man. Man, what's you in the city, man. How's that? Right. Nah, for sure. Jose Baudet in this motherfucker, man. Y'all all right? Big player, big player, man. You got more ice here since the last time we seen you. Yeah, change a little bigger. You know, we can only do better and better, man. Amen, amen. We can only do better and better. You trying to stay away from the worst. Baudet, keep it real. How you get out here with all these white folk, man? (laughs) You out here doing it, man. You know, I like to to sneak in and sneak out. You know what I'm saying? Man, hold up. Let me crack the cheat code on these niggas. Straight up. Man, we just, you just came out the stage performing at the Nick Cannon uh, Future Superstar, man. How was that, man? Tell us about it. Hey, man, I ain't gonna lie. It was a great experience. It was a very humbling experience, and I respect my people for like setting that up for me. Yeah. Straight up. Man, so, man, you know, you in the D, man. You've been doing music for a long time. We got some a new project out. What we what we looking at right now? Oh, man, straight up. Defamation of character, man. You know, all, all, Defamation all, of character, all, man. all of the real came out on Defamation of character, man. Real, real deal shit, man. Whatever y'all wanted to know, I feel y'all in on that project, straight up. Now, what made you want to drop this project? Um, uh, it was a lot of hate going on. You know what I'm saying? A lot of motherfuckers just not really knowing what's up, but just making. I got tired of motherfuckers assuming, so I just gave them something to listen to. You know what I'm saying? And you know, uh, you know, you got real in depth and real personal on this motherfucker, man. Do you feel like this should clear up everything that's been said and done thus far? Oh yeah, man. You know, hey, I'm still outside every day. I ain't missed a beat, but man. hey, man. You know, I had to get y'all something to listen to to, to clear my clear my name, basically. You know hey, what I'm saying? Man. Hey, now, man. You know, I just I just want to say, man. You know, for artists, man. You know that they always trying to figure out how to get to that next level and get on a stage like this, bro. What did you do personally? You know, what advice could you give to those artists? Like, you know, that's trying to get to that next level. Oh uh, well, one thing I say, like I'm always say, networking. You know what I'm saying? Being able to, you know what I'm saying? Never build a bad, never have a bad rapport with anybody. You know what I'm saying? I always have good relationships. You know what I'm saying? Good friendships, and that's what a lot of music is. Like it ain't always about what you know. You know what I'm saying? It sometimes it be about who you know. You know what I'm saying? And straight up, like you know. And I, like I say, if, if you once you get that opportunity, you know what I'm saying? You gotta stand on it. Now, uh, you know, the Dallas music scene is getting bigger and bigger. We got people like, you know, the Nick Cannons and all the artists, man. Uh, do you think that it's, uh, Dallas is on the resurgence of growing as far as being on the public eye in the world, on the big stage of the world? I say this like this, man. If we come together, we'll be bigger than any other city. That, that's, that's the only thing Dallas is missing is, you know what I'm saying? They missing that. Once we get that together, everything will fall in part. Like, this is where they come. Now, what's another city where you feel like, uh, you know, the unity is on point? Like, you go, you've go, been to that city like, damn, these niggas really working together, even though they may or may not like each other. I ain't gonna stunt. Like, ain't a brothership I done seen like Atlanta. Like, yeah. like all the top artists in Atlanta actually, like, hang out and kick it. You know what I'm saying? And I done been in the room with these folks, like, just kicking it. Like, so that's how it go. Like, like that's why I say like once once your city come together like ain't no it's, we unstoppable. You know what I'm saying that's the only thing separating you know what I'm saying Dallas from Atlanta. That's what's up. And like I said right now you know you on the Nick you on the tour are you on the actual tour that's going nah, state? Nah 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 I actually just uh you know what I'm saying they brought me out you know what I'm saying like I said because my people wanted to you know what I'm saying right basically like you know link us up you know hey man we don't know what's in the in the near future man right. we're just doing some positive shit right now that's what's up bro so you know you know everybody know you from having them bars man everybody know you from having that aggressive flow now nah, for sure like what, what's coming next for bodega you know what i mean we oh, just yeah, see you man. kill the stage so we know you got some shit oh yeah man you know like i said go get that defamation of character it's out right now you know what i'm saying and mr bodega too now on the way now and we all remember mr bodega so i i'm gonna give him a little bit more of that straight up now uh we interviewed uh ziggy made it right right my little brother yeah, yeah man one of the coldest producers in the city now, man if not the coldest if not the coldest man can we expect some a joint venture in the near future can we oh you yeah know what man I'm we finna do a whole we finna do a whole little project you know what i'm saying a whole little ep you know what i'm saying ziggy made bodega straight yeah. up oh okay Shit. i just gave y'all a little hey man nah, that- you know Remember that. Keep that in the near future, man. That's like is that a cheat code for your manager's son to be the producer? <laughs> can't go wrong, man. Hey, they making it. They making me have to give it to him. Yeah. I got no choice. Straight up. Now give us one song off the new project where you know the people right now they need to go tap in with it and make sure that uh you know that they feeling what is coming what's out. Oh yeah, testimony. 
you know what I'm saying? This is my testimony. That that's the track. That's the record. You know what I'm saying? They need to go in, vibe with, you know what I'm saying? And that's gonna be the one that, like I said, answer a lot of them questions. Do we have any new visuals on the way? What's coming? What we got? Oh uh, yeah, uh, I'm finna drop a checklist, the checklist visual. That's probably be out in the next couple days, actually. So that's gonna be on my on my uh YouTube channel, you know what I'm saying? Go subscribe, go check me out. It's gonna be live in effect. Now, the question is, we've been asked, man, is you know, uh, who cheats more, men or women? I mean, hey, hopefully men. Because yeah. I know my <laughs> bed not be cheating on me. Straight up. I better be cheating more than my girl. Straight up. I better be cheating more than you. Because <laughs> if you if you cheat more than me, it's a problem. <laughs> Straight up. Now it's been it's been a lot of them women going to the, like the little massage nigga with they butt ass. If you see your girl on the page, what's your immediate response? Oh, um, my better not ask me for no massage. <laughs> That's my response. <laughs> if you want a massage, you better wait till I get to the crib. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> I wish you would get a massage. I'm gonna break his fingers and yours. Hey man, man, man. Straight up. Man, you already know, man. Big plan the motherfucker build the Jose uh, Buck uh, in this bitch, man. Straight up. Hey, man, you one of them ones, man, straight from the city, man. You already know how it go down. It was a treat with real players meet, man. Oh yeah, man. And I love. This the best part, Jose Bodega. You are and always have been a real life street star. Let's nah, go. For sure.